Old model crucial M500240 GB MSATA internal solid state drive CT240 M500 SSD3. Transformative performance, dramatically faster than a hard drive nearly instantaneous boot times ample storage, available in capacities up to terabyte class extensive quality and reliability testing built into every drive 3 year limited warranty compatible with PC and Mac systems. Capacity, 240 GB dramatically faster than a hard drive at the crucial M500 SSD isn't just a storage upgrade, it's a complete system transformation. Designed to keep your system up to speed with today's multitasking demands that often require instant and simultaneous connections with friends apps websites downloads and playlists the crucial M500 delivers nearly instantaneous boot time as powerful data transfer speeds increased multitasking capability and rock solid reliability, all at an affordable price. Available in capacities up to terabyte class C the crucial M500 has passed hundreds of SSD quality tests and over a thousand hours of pre-release validation testing. Don't settle for anything less. The Dell D420 was a workhorse laptop for many businesses. I don't think Dell has made as good a laptop since EC but it has become aged and slower over the past few years and in need of a boost. The D420 has a native ZIF interface for the HDDC for which there are very few direct interface SSDs. However there are several MSATA to ZIF adapter cards sold on Amazon Micro SATA cables, MSATA SSD to 40 pin ZIF adapter card as Toshiba or Hitachi ZIF HD Dan cheaper on eBay if you can wait for the China shipment, that expand the selection of SSD SC making it easier to find a good deal on a drive. The Misada card screws on top of the adapter and uses the same cable as the HDD. In my case I purchased a new cable from eBay for a few bucks or here on Amazon for Dell Latitude D420 D430 hard drive connector cable. The combination adapter and Misada drive are considerably smaller than the original drive SpaceX so it kinda floats in the rubber HDD pocket. I was worried about it bouncing around inside but it is so incredibly light it actually doesn't move very much nor make any sound. I may place a small foam spacer inside once I figure out how much heat it is producing so I can adjust accordingly. Startup is 30 to 40% faster and performance is noticeably faster and the machine is quieter too. I would recommend installing the OS from scratch. I'm using Windows 7, C ensuring you have the latest BIOS from Dell, A06, C rather than a clone of your old hard drive. Optimal data organization may be slightly different on an SSD C plus you get rid of all the junk you don't need anymore. However if you have tons of software and keys that you can't find you may be better off with the clone option, just wouldn't be my first choice. We are overall very happy with this drive. I'm not sure why it didn't work for other people with D420C2 bad for them. My guess would be putting the cable in backwards, even I did that my first try until I saw a picture of it done correctly, or not being on the most recent BIOS version. I have three other D420s that I will be upgrading soon perhaps with the 240GB version if the price comes down again. I will update as needed.